In the second to last video, I managed to hit 60,000 league points. With less than three weeks left in the league, everything is going to come down to RNG as most of the remaining tasks are just about getting the drop. Rack and tentacle number eight. I almost missed it because I don't have ground items on. I think I turned it off because of next. Let me turn that back on so I don't miss anything. But yeah, that's Kraken tentacle number eight. Kraken tentacle number nine. One more and I'll be done with the Kraken. And there we have it. Kraken tentacle number 10. We are done with this boss. Okay, I've got 10 tentacles. I actually have to dissolve this one first. Let me get rid of that. Now I have 10 tentacles. Let me talk to this person and enchant this thing fully. For every 10, you can hand me a trident and I'll enhance it. I don't know if it works with the full one. It does. There we go. 250 points. Easy master com task completed. And unfortunately, a bit of my AFK time taken away. I have to figure out other stuff to do. Okay, so I tested this the other day, and I think it's probably going to be worth doing aerial fishing. There's a task to get a tench, which is 250 points. There's a task for 125 points for a fish sack. And there's also a task for uh, two different rods, which I believe are 25 each. And uh, normally they're not worth getting, but the thing is, there's a greedy gatherer, that, which works for the pearls, which makes getting the sack and all that stuff pretty easy. And it's only 1 in 20,000, um, what's it called, 20,000 catches for the golden tench. According to the wiki, you should be able to catch 1,600 to 1,800 fish an hour. So it's around 10 hours for the golden tench, which might not be worth it, but you also get every other task out of the way as well if you do manage to get it. I also need a skilling pet, so it also has a chance of dropping a skilling pet from here as well. I think you get the heron. So for all those reasons, I'm doing it, but not all at once. I'm going to do it whenever I feel like it, and this is just one of those times. Okay, so I did enough aerial fishing to get 250 pearls. I can go ahead and buy this rod and this rod. And this should be two different 25 point tasks. That's 25 points right there. And this is another 25. I don't think I'm going to do any more for now. I probably will do it later, but just not now. I don't feel like it. Okay, so I really need to stop procrastinating on these KC tasks. I'm going to go ahead and do 500 Zora right now. 300 Zora kills. Serpentine Visage. Tanzanite Fang. I'm catching up on some work right now. So I'm at Winter Todd and I just got 150 KC. 50 points. 200 Winter Todd kills, 50 points. 225 Winter Todd kills, 50 points. Every other task from here on out is 125 points. So 250, 300, and 350. So the points are going to start coming in a little faster than they are now. Although I'm almost done with my work. So I don't know if I'm going to hit the next milestone before I do something else. Right, I can finally play the game again. So let's go back and finish Zora. Serpentine Visage, another Serpentine Visage, 400 Zora kills, 100 more to go, and Canonix, another Serp Visage, and there we go, 500 Zora KC, goodbye to this boss, completed fully now. Two Magics, 7 Serps, 4 Blowpipes, and 2 Onyxes. Let's move on. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 100 Contracts completed in a second, yep, 25 points, and now... The only milestones left are 110, 120, 130, and 150, I think. And they all give 50 points, which is going to be really, really nice. I don't know why, but I have a good hunch that I could finish all the Barrow's items because I'm so close to all of them and I was trying to get one set. So, fuck it. You know, I'm going to do a little, couple of runs if I got lucky. If not, I'm just going to switch it up. I have Rack Flail. I'm pretty sure that is a new set right here. Yep, another set complete. Four Spear, Dark Legs, Arm Top, Leather Skirt. Four pieces remain. Okay, we take those. That's another set complete. I think I'm only missing three items now. Okay, Darox. I'm pretty sure I just got full Darox. Let me go double check real quick. Yep, another one done. Uh, I'm going to do every single Barrow's Brother until I get one of these two pieces, and then I'm just going to do that one Barrow's Brother alone. I think that's the most efficient way to go about it. And this is chest number 300. It's still missing those two pieces. Oh my god, finally, another new unique Kirill skirt. I only miss one piece now. That's the Arum's top. Okay, since I only need Aram's top, I'm going to go ahead and switch to range and only kill Aram's. I think that would be better. I'm not going to lie, bro. This is really, really depressing. I'm on 735 kill count. It's 1 in 260 for a specific item doing the one chest method, and I've done like 500 of those. And I've also done a significant amount before doing Old Brothers. So, yeah, I am extremely dry. I think I have a TOB team ready now, so I'm going to continue later. At this point, it's just sunk cost fallacy, right? Like, I can't stop one item away from full completion. I just have to finish it, even though that one item has taken me over, like, many, many hours. Looks like Scotty got a purple. What did he get? A Vernic. Purple for Kinta. Another Vernic. I think this is the last TLB for now. 70 KC and purple for somebody else. He just got a Scythe. Oh my god, that's depressing. I'm happy for him, but that is depressing to miss. The first point of gain in a very, very long time. 110 farming contracts, 50 points. 
Holy fuck, I finally got it. 834 kill count. Aram's top. I'm finished with barrels. Jesus Christ, I hated that grind. There is a collection log. A full barrels complete. Let's go where all the armor is and get their points. Okay, I believe this is the last set. Equip every barrels armor set. 125 points for all that. Great. The yours can take in. Nice. 25 mil farming, 125 points. I didn't realize I was that close to level. Okay, so I've been doing random stuff like aerial fishing, some winter tod. I need a new goal. I think I'm going to go ahead and do war cat for 750 kills and see if I get the visage and judge what I'm going to do from there. Of all the things you could spoon, I think the skelly visage is like the one thing you want to spoon before 750 KC because any KC past that is kind of like a waste of time to RNG. But at the same time, it's like not expected to get it in 750 kills anyway, because it's 1 in 1,666, you know? So it's pretty rare. So yeah, getting it before 750 would just save so much time. All right, this is kill number 250, and that is 125 more league points. The other milestones are 500 and 750. 300 work cath kill count. Seems like I just hit 200 mil strength, and I'm pretty close to 200 mil defense as well. I'll probably get 200 mil old combats, to be honest, except for prayer. Even the prayer is really high. 46 million just off that bone crusher. I like really. 400 work cath kills. That does not look good. Let's see what it is now. Yep, it looks like it's another temporary ban for botting. Sick. Right, I'm guessing you guys have seen my last mental breakdown video, which is episode 13 of the Saturday Relics League, and it was very, very short. I'm back into the game now. Let's continue playing. All right, and that should be 500 workout kills, another 125 league points. 250 remain, but I'm gonna be camping this until I get that skeletal visage. Well, probably not an all in one setting. I will get 750 for sure in this setting. But I will definitely camp for the Skeletal Visage eventually. 600 or Cath kills. Oh my god, I got it. I got the Skeletal Visage. Holy shit, this is what I needed. This is like the most lucky thing I've ever gotten in this entire league. Holy fuck, let me screenshot this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This makes up for so much bad luck. I can't even describe how much time this saves. This makes... I am not even mad about getting banned anymore. Like, this legitimately makes me so fucking happy. I actually got the skeletal message before 750. Undeserved, but I feel like considering everything that's happened to me, that was pretty deserved. 700 Warcath kills, just 50 more to go, and another 125. 120 farming contracts complete, another 50 points. I gotta start working towards those Grand Master tasks, and this should be one right here. The Fremnic Away, you just punch out of death, and you still hit 60th with your fist. And there we go, 750th Warcath kill. I cannot describe how happy I am that I'm done with this boss entirely. I do not have to come back for any visits, because I got it. And yeah, 125 more points. Beautiful. Okay, let's make the shield. Spithing double is active, so I have a 30% chance of getting two of them. Am I lucky enough to get two of them? I actually got two of them. Okay. We were the one of these, and that's 125 leak points. All right, so my next task is to do revenants, and I actually need a, quite a bit of stuff here, so I'm probably going to be here for a while. Uh, the main things I need are 25 mil con bank from the planks. I could just make them myself, but this is passive, and I have to do this anyway. There's also the 250 mil crown task, which you get from all the money you make here. There's also the task of... How much money is that? Okay, it says right here, 4 mil, that's convenient. Um, anyway, there's also the chance of wielding weapons. All of them give 125 points each. The whole sets give another 50, but that's really unrealistic. And there's also the four obelisk stones for 125 points. Okay, ancient crystal number one. Ancient crystal number two. Two more to go. Ancient crystal number three. One more to go. All right, and that is ancient crystal number four. I can go ahead and make this in my house whenever I can be bothered. For now, my goal is to camp here until I get 250 mil for the crown. All right, there should be 130 farming contracts, I believe, and the next milestone is at 150, and then we would be done with farming contracts completely. The drop rate of a PvP weapon from here is 1 in 3,000, and I just hit kill count 3,000, so hopefully get one soon. Okay, so I definitely have enough GP for the crown if you count all the emblems that are still in my bank, and honestly, I should get the crown and leave, but I've done 3498 KC, and I haven't gotten a single rev item. And I feel like I just gotta camp until I get one, you know? I just feel like I have to. Okay, so apparently somebody has found me a lucky impling. It should be around here somewhere. I put like a 50 mil bounty if anyone finds me one, so... 
This will be a nice little chunk of points. There we go. Catch a lucky imp. 125 points. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm not going to lie, bro. These revs are breaking me. Let me look at the KC. 3827, almost 4,000. I'm going to go hand these in. I'm going to go claim my money and I'm going to go buy a crown. Sell Revenant Artifacts for 75 mil. Yes. Okay, that's 50 points and let's go buy a crown. Pretty sure this is the NPC. Let me go ahead and buy a crystal crown and let me buy the black die. Wear it. And that is 250 league points. And of course, I'm going to make it black, because who the fuck wants a white crown? Quick little break from revs since I'm going insane. I'm going to do volcanic mine for the task and 25 mil mining. Alright, I should get 25 mil any second now. I have to wait for the XP pop-ups. It's kind of awkward. There we go. 25 mil mining XP, 125 points. It's past 62,000 points now. Okay, so I've been waiting to do volcanic mine to get these two items. I don't know how to pronounce them, but I know I can use this to make enriched bones. I'm just going to follow a guide and figure it out. Okay, I think I just checked this and the test should be complete. Oh, I have to offer it, don't I? I think it's on this machine right here. Yep. 25 points. You got a Good luck. I'm Thanks, Daff. Oh. No, okay. No, it's Kent, that stupid fuck. Why did Kent get the back to back? That's no, he didn't. I got it. No, I was talking about the MVP. Uh, yeah. No, I, was, I was right. All right, Maz, your turn to get a Vernick. Purple. Kent, you stupid suck. And it's Kent does again. Easy sight. Play with you, Scythe. Oh, uh, Reaper. That's, that's the Here's first Reaper we've seen. Oh, it's because I died on bloat. I forgot. It would have been. Order? It would have been mine. Oh shit! <gasps> oh, no, you got it. I need that. Are you done? No, I He's... need just a solo. <laughs> you gotta solo your just. There's no way my recorder was not on for that, bro. I just got the fucking Skelly Visage, and uh, yeah. I, I can't even describe how long I've been working on this. I've been working on this almost every single day while I've been working for like the past week. That means I now have every single wyvern shield done. But I'm going to go save these points, I think, because I want to jump a few ranks at once. I forgot I could just show how many wyverns I've actually killed. I have killed uh, 7,197 fossil island wyverns, and I would say like 80% of them are the ancient ones. So, yeah, they're one like a 3,333, so pretty fucking unlucky. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I'm going to go ahead and commit to something. I'm going to do my 500 library book grind. It will take a while, but I think it's worth the points. Okay, so I'm hoping this works like I imagine it. I think I can put my last recall in the center of the Arcadius library, which is kind of annoying to get to. And then I can just teleport here and teleport back if I ever need to go right straight there again. So, yeah, that should be a good time save. It should be a lot faster with this, not going to lie. Turn in 100 library books, 5 points. Turn in 250 books, 25 points. Just another 250 more to go for the hard task, fuck me. Alright, according to my XP tracker, this should be the two, 500th book. Yep, 50 points. Thank god. Alright, I got a bunch of planks from revs, so I don't have to bother making any of them. I'm gonna go ahead and get 25 mil construction. This is the last one, build this, and I should be at 25 mil construction XP. Alright, it's time we finally make this. Make this obelisk real quick. 125 more league points. And fuck it. Since I'm getting all these points, I might as well do that wyvern shield now. I've got the spithing double relic on. I have no idea if it'll work for this or not, but we'll see. And... There we go. Our wyvern shield made. No double. It's fine. We just got 375 points for equipping every dragon shield and equipping a wyvern shield. I literally have no use for any of the GP anymore, so I might as well just buy more bank space, right? Why not? All right, I need to do some Shades of Martin tasks. I'm in the Shades of Martin world. This thing is dead as hell, so I have to use the tear bracelets and build this up myself. Okay, it's time to start opening up some gold keys. The first one will give me 50 points, and the main thing I want from here is the two scrolls. There's a Swamp Bark scroll and a Blood Bark scroll. I also want a piece of Zealot. There's a full set task as well, but that gives the same points. It's like a one-piecer, so that's definitely not worth doing. But yeah, if I get unlucky, I'll probably be on that one piece of Zealot. JK! Where is Zealot Boots? 50 points. Easy as fuck. Alright, there we go. Blood Bark. Let's open that shit up. Read Scroll. Yes. There we go. We can make Blood Bark armor now. Now I just need the Swamp Bark, and obviously I'm going to be doing this for a while because I need a lot of fine cloth. Like a decent amount. I got a second Zealot piece. What if I get full Zealot before I get the Swamp Bark scroll, bro? No, I got a dupe Blood Bark one, bro. I, got, I just got another dupe Blood Bark, bro. <laughs> there we go. That's a Swamp Bark right there. Let me open this up. Read this. Yes, that's another 50 point thing when I finally claim it. I should have enough Bark. I'm just gonna open up the rest of the keys. And I just got another one. I just got the third Zealot piece. I should just stay to the last one, huh? 
I got it. The last piece of zealot. All right, here it is. Full zealot. Let me go equip this real quick. And that is another 50 points. All right, this is the last piece of swamp park. Let me equip all this real quick. And that is 50 points. All right, that's the last piece of blood bark. And let's go ahead and equip all these. And that is another 125 points. I am now past 63,000 league points. All right, I just got a black demon task. I'm going to go ahead and do demonics. Uh, let me go ahead and open the collection log real quick. I've got 508 kills. I need 750 total. And I need the heavy frame and the ballista springs. So I'm pretty much just going to be camping this nonstop until I get the full ballista. It's too good not to do. <laughs> no, that's my third monkey tail, bro. That's like the rarest item and I have three of them. Yes! Heavy frame! How is it that the spring or whatever the thing is called? I don't even know what it's called. One second. I'm sorry, I can't I can't speak. I'm just really excited. How is it that the ballista spring is the last item I need? That should be easy to get, right? I'm pretty sure it's pretty common. Alright, so the ballista spring is one in 166. So that's not too bad. I could definitely just grind that out. There's no way that's gonna take like a thousand kills or something. Alright, apparently this is kill number 750. 125 more league points. I really thought when I got the heavy frame it was gonna be over for this boss. But uh nah, still gotta do some more. I didn't get a chance to finish this yesterday because our team had to go, but today we are finishing it, and that is a 50-point task by an ash cover tome. Yes, I finally got the Ballista Spring, dude. 896 kills. Honestly, not that terrible. It's only 150 kills more than the kill count, but just to go dry on like the most common drop is silly. I don't really remember how this works, but I'm pretty sure you just use it on each other, right? There. Use this with that. Use this with that. And then equip the heavy ballista, and that is 125 league points. All right, the next agenda is to do some mage training right now. I want to get the master one, and I want the mage's book. So I'm going to try to knock both of those out in one go. All right, this should get me over 10,800, which is all the points I need for both items. So I'm done with this room. Okay, so cold one is currently doing a mass at Nightmare, and I have zero Nightmare KC. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to collect a bunch of KC and get a bunch of task completions. Hopefully, jump up some ranks. All right, that is defeat the nightmare five times at 50 easy points. These kills are sub two minutes. That's crazy. And that is 10 KC, another 50 points. Defeat the nightmare 25 times, another 50 points. And somebody got something. All right, this should be kill count number 50 at the nightmare. And that should be a 125 point task. The next milestone is at 100. All right, this should finally be it. I believe this is the 100th nightmare KC. And that will be a 125 point task. So close to 64,000 now. And that's where I'm going to end the nightmare for now. That is enough massing for me. All right, 985 telekinetic points. I believe that is enough for the master wand and the mage's book. So on to the next one. All right, if the math is correct, this should be 1,080 points. And that should be it for Alking. All right, and this should be it. 984 possessed points. I should be able to buy everything now. Well, by everything, I mean the book and the wand. All right, that's the master wand. Now I have everything. Let me go ahead and equip this. 125 points. Let me equip this. Another 125 points. I have 64,105 league points now. And that's where I'm going to end the video. The high scores race is closer than ever, and RNG matters more than ever. As you can see, Tom went from being 3,000 points ahead in the last video to only 500 in this one, simply because he's going dry at Warcath, proving how much of a role RNG plays. With the ban wasting several hours, 4.6 thousand revs in the weapon, and 7.2 thousand wyverns for the visage, my RNG was pretty abysmal the past few days. But that skelly visage I got from Warcath really saved it, and gave me back a lot of time, and it was such a huge relief, and it's probably the only reason I'm still in contention for the race. I think from now on, it's going to come down to whether or not I get a scythe. If I don't get it, I will probably be looking for a rank 4-7 to seven finish, and if I do get it, I'll be looking at a rank 1-4 to four finish. We'll see how it plays out over the next few days. Until then... Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.